Hello, hello, and welcome to Learn Redstone with me. I'm your host, Blends. Let's get started. All right, today we're going to be talking about all about the dropper and the dispenser. Now, I'm playing on the Java 1.16.2. This might be a little bit different in Bedrock or in previous or later versions, but for this version, this is what we're talking about. All right, so why do I have a Q back here? Well, the dropper always acts like a Q. Like, if you have an item in your hand and you just press Q, it's just going to throw the item out. The dispenser sometimes acts like that, if I can get back up, but also usually acts as if it's, uh, if you have the item in your hand and you can use it, like if you click the right click, it'll do just like that. It'll dispense the water or take the water away, depending on what you got in there and all that kind of stuff. Okay, these two items actually look pretty similar. There is a distinct difference, though. The dropper looks like a happy frog, and the dispenser looks like a scared frog. I can't be the only one that sees that. All right, the dropper has a flat part. The dispenser has just the round part. Now, when they're facing up, they look very similar, except they don't have the little frog face. The dispenser has the round part, and the dropper has the flat part, although it's all flat instead of just on the side. Okay, so that's the, how you can visually tell the difference of them. Now, let's go ahead and see what happens if there's just a regular block in there, like some uh, stone. Go ahead and put stone in each one of these. There we go. And we're going to hit the dropper. It just spits it out. And we're going to hit the dispenser. It also just spits it out because it can't actually use that block. Now, if we put something like a water bucket in there, like I was showing earlier, hit the dropper, it's going to spit it out, hit the dispenser, it's actually going to dispense the water. Now, since that's an empty bucket in there now because the water is gone, you hit it again, it's going to use the empty bucket to clear that water out. Very, very useful for a lot of different things. You can do things like eggs, dropper's just going to spit it out. The dispenser, it's going to actually, it's going to throw it and it's going to try to create a chicken. Didn't work that time though. The dispenser can also do things like spit out an armor stand. It can also put a mob head on you or armor or anything else like that. Another unique thing about the droppers is if you put a chest in front of it, and let's just go ahead and put the water buckets back in there. All right, if you do the dropper with a chest in front of it, it's actually just going to put the water bucket directly in that chest. Now, if you do it with a dispenser, it's going to waterlog that chest. Okay, it's not actually going to put anything in there. The empty bucket is still going to be in the dispenser. Hit it again, it'll unwaterlog that chest. Now, this can be extremely useful for uh, item elevators like this dropper vader here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put eight stone in this one right here, and it's actually just going to drop them all up. Well, I know it's dropping them, but it's dropping them up into the ones right above it, and it's actually going to end up all in that uh, chest right there. Now, I'll show you how to make this on some other video. Not today, though. Now, if you try to do this with a dispenser with an item that it normally doesn't dispense, but more drops it, like when you hit Q, like this stone here, if you hit that, it's just going to pop it right off the side, just like that. Now, the dispenser can use a lot of different items. Everything in my hotbar here, it can do uh, helmets or any kind of armor, really. It can put zombie heads on you or any other mob uh, or like zombies and stuff like that. It can put stuff on horses and it also shoots arrows. Now, you can do any transportation. It can release a minecart or a boat or any variation of minecart or whatever. It can use bone meal on grass and like plants and trees and stuff like that. For water buckets, it can uh, dispense water like we saw. It'll do the same thing with water or with lava, and it can also spit out a bucket of fish. You can also use it to do splash potions, and then glass bottles also work on there. That's good for like honey farms. You have that connected to a honeycomb. When it uh, fires off, it'll collect the honey in there. You can also do it with shears, like uh, this sheep right over here. It's got a shear in there. If I hit that button, it's just gonna, you know, it's just gonna make the, uh, the wool come off. Well, it works out pretty good for wool farms. You can also use it with uh, flint and steel to light things on fire. You can also dispense shulker boxes just like that. So it's a good thing for like uh, auto shulker uh, dispensers and stuff like that. You can also use glowstone and a respawn anchor here. Uh, it can also throw eggs or snowballs. It can fire off rockets, fireworks, and also use fire charges. So this has a lot of different uses. Now, something else that you got to know about this is that there's a, a random amount of or random items inside the dropper or dispenser and you hit the button, it's just going to randomly shoot something out. It's not going to pick out a specific item or from the order of what, where they're at in there, all that kind of stuff. And then also for the uh, these items, actually on uh, Java at least, they cannot be moved by pistons. So if I try to activate that piston, it actually won't do anything. If I break that and I hit it again, you'll see that it actually does work. All right, hopefully that clears some things up for you guys, but that's all the time I got for this video. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. See you later.